How did you have loved us? How have you loved us? Yahweh answers, was not Esau of Yaakov's brother? Meaning they were both what? No respect to a person. They were both of the same family. The seed of what? The seed of what? Yitzchak. He says, Yahweh, yet I love Yaakov, notice. I favored Yaakov. I hated Esau. And I hated him so much that I laid his mountains and his heritage waste for the jackals of the wilderness. Notice. Listen. Esau and Yaakov were brothers, but Yahweh bestowed favor or unmerited favor, including privileges and benefits in eternal matters, spiritual matters, even temporal matters, so that Yaakov prospered and Esau withered away. Yahweh, for promotion comes not from north, south, east, or west, Yahweh raises one up and sets the other down. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. We see the same thing in Romans chapter 9, don't we? Same thing in Romeo chapter 9. So that it is not he who wills, but he who, what? Not he who runs, but he who wills. Amen? Yahweh wills. What does it mean, Yahweh wills? His what? Ratzon, or his predetermined counsel. He showed Moshe Rabbeinu what? Favor. But in order to bring favor to the entire nation, he had to put down Pharaoh be Mitzrayim, didn't he? Yeah. And then the whole nation entered into that favor. See, that's the beauty of favor. When Yahweh favors you, an entire group, an entire family, an entire nation can enter into that covering of favor. So if you have a practice or you're in business and you're righteous before Yahweh and you do the right thing before Yahweh and you walk uprightly and humbly with Yahweh thy Elohim, then all those who work for you, all those who serve, uh, who get a paycheck from you, enter into that favor. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Go with me to Bereshit 13.2. Bereshit. Again, part two. Raising Chain. Raising Chain. Bereshit 13 and 2. And Abraham was very rich in cattle, in silver, and in gold. Amen. So what was that? Yah, where did Abraham get his cattle? his silver and gold. Does anybody know? Does anybody know where Abraham got his silver, cattle, and gold? I'm talking about in the natural. How many ever heard of a dude called Nimrod? Nimrod tried to kill Abraham several times when Abraham was a baby. And Yahweh took all the gold, the silver, and the cattle, and all the belongings of Nimrod. This is in Sefer, Yashar, the book of Jasher which is mentioned four times in the Bible, so it's a kosher book, and uh, transferred all these material things. He approved of Abraham, he disapproved of Nimrod. He promoted Abraham, he disapproved of, oh, he didn't promote Nimrod. He considered Abraham the favorite, he bestowed privilege on Abraham. He gave Abraham gracious acts of continuing kindness to this day. Notice, when you enter the favor of Yahweh, that favor never ends as long as Yahweh has ordained that favor in your life. That favor is continuous, it never flees, it never sighs, it never fades away. Favor is something you can pass down to your children, did you know that? Do you know that? If you do the right thing now, not next week, not in two weeks, if you do the right thing now, your children will enter into your favor. I'm believing and I'm standing on the word. So was that Pentecostal enough for you? For my Nina. I claim the favor that is on my life for that girl. I don't, I, I don't want her to just grow up and marry a nice guy, a nice Jewish special. No, man. 
I want her to be a preacher. I want her to be a Joyce Meyer who honors the Torah. I want her to teach women's conferences. I want her to be a prayer warrior. I want her to be on television, not for her makeup, but for her King Yeshua. I'm, I'm believing big things for Nina. I'm believing that she'll take over the ministry when me and Rifka go to be with Yeshua, should Yeshua tarry, along with her husband. So chill out and relax. All you male chauvinists playing points. I'm believing big things. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Because I know she, the Yahweh wants her to enter into that favor. Will she? No, it's not automatic. She's something she's going to have to pursue on her own. But, but favor, you can position yourself for favor by doing the right thing now. First Shmuel 2.5. Two, two, and by the way, all the patriarchs of Israel were very rich and very well off. And the reason for that is because they had the favor of Yahweh, part of the manifestations of the favor of Yahweh. First Shmuel, First Samuel 2.5. Check this out. Listen to this. Notice. First, first Shmuel 2.5. They that were full have sought work for Lecha. They were full, but they went hungry. They that were hungry have ceased to be hungry. Notice. Also, those who were barren has, have now born seven niños por Yahweh. So, a barren womb does not mean that that is the end. It means that Yahweh can quicken the barren womb and give you favor to produce seven children. Seven being the number of what? Perfect children for Yahweh, a perfect walk with Yahweh, a perfect blessing and favor in Yahweh. You follow me? Put that back up, Danny. You scared the picture. Now you're responsible for centering it too, see? Not just putting it back up, but centering it. That's even more intimidating. Now notice, he, put, he, he makes the barren bear seven, and she that has many children have become feeble. Yahweh kills, 1 Samuel 2, 6. Yahweh kills and makes alive. Yahweh brings down to Sheol, and Yahweh brings up. Yahweh makes poor and makes rich. Look at me. You ever see these TV clowns? Well, poverty, the devil, the devil, the devil makes you poor, the devil makes you poor, poor. If you're poor, you have the devil. Excuse me. Yahweh makes poor, yes. Yahweh makes rich. He doesn't make poor people, but by withdrawing favor, they become poor. Yahweh doesn't make poor people, but when Yahweh withholds favor, you are poor every way. Spiritually, materially, emotionally, physically. So you don't need money, child. You need favor. Amen. Right. Because Yahweh is not the author of poverty. He made Abraham, Yitzhak, and Yaakov rich because they walked in favor. But in order to inherit favor, Yahweh is going to have to see you worthy of promotion. And in order to be promoted into favor, you're going to have to live right now. Now, without holiness, no man will see Yahweh. You might have goosebumps on your hands, but you are not going to get the full blessing of that favor on your children and your grandchildren and all those barren wombs in your, in your downline, in your, in your genealogy that Yahweh wants to bless and make the head and not the tail unless you position them for favor now in your life. I said, Baruch Hashem Yahweh. Look, Yahweh makes poor, Yahweh makes rich. Yahweh brings low, Yahweh... Raise his hand. Notice, Yahweh lifts up. Yahweh what? Yahweh raises his hand. Yes. Yahweh raises up the poor out of the dust. Yahweh lifts up the beggar from the dunghill to set them with rulers. Yes, he did. To make them inherit the kisei, the, 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 the throne of Tiferet. For the pillars of the earth are Yahweh, and he has set the olam upon them. You get that? The pillar, the olam is set on his pillars. What pillars? The three pillars. The three pillars. The Father, the Son, and the Spirit. The middle column, the Son of Yahweh. In biblical Kabbalah, not unbiblical Kabbalah, the middle pillar is called the Son of Yahweh. Baruch Hashem Yahweh. The right side of, of Yahweh, the left side of Yahweh. His mercy and then His judgment. All these are balanced in the perfect perfection 